eight how teeth were regarded in valapi coiling through the thickets like the track of a serpent wound along the path we pursued and ere long we came to a spacious grove embowering an oval arbor here we reclined at our ease and refreshments were served little worthy of mention occurred save this happening to catch a glimpse of the white even teeth of horora one of the attendants king peepi coolly begged of medea the favour to have those same dentals drawn on the spot and presented to him now human teeth extracted are reckoned among the most valuable ornaments in mardi so open wide thy strong box hohora and show thy treasures what a gallant array standing shoulder to shoulder without a hiatus between a complete set of jewellery indeed thought peepi but it seems not destined for him medea leaving it to the present proprietor whether his dentals should change owners or not and here to prepare the way for certain things hereafter to be narrated something farther needs to be said concerning the light in which men's molars are regarded in mardi strung together they are sported for necklaces or hung in drops from the ear they are wrought into dice in lieu of silken locks are exchanged for love tokens as in all lands men smite their breasts and tear their hair when transported with grief so in some countries teeth are stricken out under the sway of similar emotions to a very great extent this was once practised in the hawaiian islands ere idol and altar went down still living in oahu are many old chiefs who were present at the famous obsequies of their royal old generalissimo tamahamaha when there is no telling how many pounds of ivory were cast upon his grave ah had the regal white elephants of siam been there doubtless they had offered up their long hooked tusks whereupon they impaled the leopards their foes and the unicorn had surrendered that fixed bayonet in his forehead and the imperial cachalot whale the long chain of white towers in his jaw yea over that grim warrior's grave the mooses and elks and stags and fallow deer had stacked their antlers as soldiers their arms on the field terrific shade of tattooed tamahamaha if from a vile dragon's molars rose mailed men what heroes shall spring from the cannibal canines once pertaining to warriors themselves am i the witch of endor that i conjure up this ghost or king saul that i so quake at the sight for lo round about me tamahamaha's tattooing expands till all the sky seems a tiger's skin but now the spotted phantom sweeps by as a man of war's mainsail cloud-like blown far to leeward in a gale banquo down we return in valapi prevails not the barbarous hindu custom of offering up widows to the shades of their lords for bereaved the widows there marry again nor yet prevails the savage hawaiian custom of offering up teeth to the manes of the dead for at the decease of a friend the people rob not their own mouths to satisfy their woe on the contrary they extract the teeth from the departed distributing them among the mourners for memorial legacies as elsewhere silver spoons are bestowed from the high value ascribed to dentals throughout the archipelago of mardi and also from their convenient size they are circulated as money strings of teeth being regarded by these people very much as belts of wampum among the winnebagoes of the north or cowries among the bengalese so that in valpo the very beggars are born with a snug investment in their mouths too soon however to be appropriated by their lords leaving them toothless for the rest of their days and forcing them to diet on poi pudding and banana blanc mange as a currency teeth are far less clumsy than coconuts which among certain remote barbarians circulate for coin one nut being equivalent perhaps to a penny the voyager who records the fact chuckles over it hugely as evincing the simplicity of those heathens not knowing that he himself was the simpleton since that currency of theirs was purposely devised by the men to check the extravagance of their women coconuts for spending money being such a burden to carry it only remains to be added 
that the most solemn oath of a native of Valapi is that sworn by his tooth. By this tooth, said Bondo to Nujumo, by this tooth I swear to be avenged upon thee, O Nujumo. End of chapter 68